Hello everyone. In this video I would like to show how to spot a fake Omega X swatch even from a long distance without having original item to compare. So actually let's start from the box maybe. The box looks not so bad but there are some differences like for example colors are not so good so original box is more colorful but it could be difficult to spot without the original box to compare. Maybe one thing about fake box. The tag has the name Bloceramils instead of Bioceramic. In general, typing errors are pretty common in fakes. Let us move on to some more certain errors. The first mistake is how edges are reproduced. In fake edges are rounded, but in the original they are rather sharp. There are many fake versions, some are made of painted steel and some from regular plastic. So how edges look may vary. The movement in this fake is not the same as in the genuine Omega X watch. I'm guessing there won't be a battery cover under the planet, because it would be difficult to use a movement that has the battery in the same place and the same functions as the original. There is no battery where it should be. I suspect that in a year or two we will find out what is the scale of counterfeiting of this model when the battery is run out. The dial color should be the same as the watch case. There are some exceptions, but you can use the official collection images to spot differences. In this fake, the dial is black and the watch case is gray. The dial looks rather like taken from the moon version. The color of the dial does not have to be the same as the color of the case on all models, but it always has to be right and fakes often are unable to reproduce it right. For educational purposes, I put a screenshot of official Mercury images from the swatch page. The dial should be grey and the subdial should be black, but in this particular fake all is black. A tape of watch crystal used in this fake causes a visual extension of the indexes on the watch dial. Indexes change length depending on the angle. There is no such effect when you look at the original watch. It can be very visible or less, depending on the version of the fake. I feel in my hands that the watch is too cold. It's not made from a plastic, for sure. And actually, it is also too heavy. That's why I have with myself this item. The genuine watch should weigh 29 grams. And in this case, we have 61 grams. Why it's 61 grams and not 29? Because of the case. The case is made not from bioceramic but rather from some kind of painted metal. There also should be a very small S letter in the center of the watch crystal. Transparent S. And in our case we have the S letter in the center of the watch crystal, but it's printed, it's white, it's uh, a little bit too big and it's not transparent. Moreover, the letter S is not engraved. You can easily notice this S letter even without a glass. The bezel font shoe should be bigger. In the genuine watch, the font literally takes up all the available space. Also, the edge of the bezel is too thick. In the genuine watch, the bezel edge would be much thinner. This fake has fluorescent paint, but it only shines for a very short time. So this may also indicate that we are dealing with a fake. On the original watch, this tiny dial shows one tenth of a second. Here it shows something else. In this fake, instead of one tenth of a second, we have a day-night indicator, which is not connected with chrono feature at all. 
when you push the reset button, this dial should also be resetted. In our case, it shows number two and nothing happens after pressing the reset button. This fake has chrono feature, but when you press the start button, there is no sound. Also, what is more important, the sweep second hand moves smoothly, but should jump from one second to another. This watch has the same movement as the Omega X watch. When I press the start button, the hand jumps, so it is much different behavior and you can notice this from a long distance. When I press the stop button, you can notice that uh, the one-tenth dial also records time. We don't have this feature in the fake one. Often fakes have incorrectly matched straps. The differences can be color or texture. For example, in the Mercury model, strap color should be silver gold, let's say, depending on the light, but for sure not gray like here. Now let's look at the watch case back. In fake products, the less visible elements are often inaccurately made. Here we have inaccuracies near the chronograph buttons. The genuine watch is free from any case or dial defects. We also have a not entirely legible marking of the watch crown. The letters on the watch crown should be sharp and clear. You can also notice that the crown is made of metal. Paint is missing on the edges of the watch crown. The first two letters of the word mission are as if kicked. In the original watch, there is no possibility of any errors in the inscription on the case. The manufacturer of the fake provided the possibility of replacing the battery, but it is done differently than in the original. Under the case back, we have China made quartz chronograph. Fakes manufacturers improve their watches. In time, the number of errors will probably decrease. So please remember that the occurrence of just one error should be a warning. That is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to put a comment. You can click subscribe anytime you want. And see you next time.